What's going on everybody? Matthew Monas here. Right now I'm at CS 2019. I'm standing in the LG booth and right behind me I have the brand new LG OLED R. This is a rollable display. Basically when you need it, it's there. When you don't want to stare at it, you can roll it back into the base. Great for small apartments, great for placing it in front of a window, but you still have that view when it's in the base. Now the crazy thing about it, it's still 4K, it's still OLED, and you have three different options. You can have zero view, which means the TV itself is basically in the base. You have line view, which means the TV is raised just a little bit, and that gives you access to pictures, it gives you access to music, basically certain functions that you otherwise wouldn't have if it was down below. Now you also have all the other stuff, like Google Assistant, so you can bark commands at it. And the third situation with it is full view, and that's when the TV is completely immersed above it, and you get that absolutely gorgeous screen. Now we've seen this before from LG in previous CESs, but this is the first year it's actually gonna be available to the public. So next up, we have the world's first 8K OLED. Right behind, we have an 88-inch LG OLED. This is the Z9, and it's absolutely stunning. Imagine this sitting in your living room, 8K staring at you, all those pixels looking gorgeous. You have HDR, you have Dolby Atmos, you have basically everything you need from one of the most high-end TVs currently on the market. Now this is the second generation of the Alpha A9 processor, so that means you get some great features. So for example, let's say you're sitting in your living room and the lighting changes and the atmosphere changes, the TV is basically gonna scan the area and adjust it based on the where you're sitting. So this we always get the most optimal results in the living room. Other things to know, HDMI 2.1. So that means it supports 4K at 120 hertz. So let's say down the road you buy a, a, a new Xbox or a new PlayStation and it supports 120 hertz, this TV is gonna be able to handle it. Theoretically, that's 48 gigabytes a second of throughput. That's a lot of data that you can push to this TV. So let's face it, OLED TVs are kind of expensive, but that's what you get for the best products. But if you want a great TV and you wanna lower the budget a little bit, this is the guy right here, 75 inches, it's 8K, it's super UHD, and it uses nano cell technology. So you're gonna get some of the same features you do on the, from the Z9, like for example, the second generation of the Alpha 9. But the cool thing about it is you get a very bright picture. You still get HDR, you still get some of the sound features, and you still get access to the smart TV functionality. Now because it's using nano cell technology, you get a very wide color gamut, and of course, very great color accuracy. So this is definitely worth checking out. They're starting off with the 75 inch version, but they are gonna be releasing models starting from like 49 inches all the way up to 85 or 88 inches in the near future. So those are the TVs, but what about some fantastic monitors? So right behind me, I have LG's ultra wide monitor. This is 49 inches, like look at this thing. Imagine sitting at your desk, it's pretty much like a war room inside of your office. You get 49 inches, 32 by nine aspect ratio. It's QHD, so basically you can have like multiple computers connected to this, basically split up the screens, and kind of have like different devices going at the same time. Now it is using special controller software, so for example, let's say you have like two laptops connected to it, you can basically use like one keyboard and one mouse to control both devices without having to switch inputs. You do have a USB hub in the back, so you can connect USB 3.0 devices, USB Type-C, whatever you can think of is you can basically connect to this thing. Now there's also picture-in-picture, picture, which is fantastic. It also has great color accuracy, over 99%. So if you're a content creator like myself, just imagine your timeline, like going across the entire thing. You basically have the whole thing to edit video. Now it's about 350 nits of brightness and it does support HDR10. Now here's the thing, if you don't need a productivity monitor, take a look at this guy. This right here is the Ultra Gear Ultra Wide Gaming Monitor. Okay, this is 38 inches. Supports G-Sync, so if you have an NVIDIA GPU or a laptop that has it, you can basically have like zero screen tearing if you're gaming. 144 hertz, so you have a good response time. It actually has a brighter display than the Ultra Wide over here. This is 450 nits of brightness. So that wraps up some amazing products coming from LG in 2019. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram for some more behind the scenes of CS 2019. And I'll see you guys in the next video.